learn how to make cereal milks from flakes. First question is what type of flakes do we need? Fine rolled, bigger ones, even muesli, all types of muesli we can use. Second question, do we need to soak the flakes? No, we don't need to soak them. So it's immediate. These milks are immediate. Now, we will start doing an oats milk. We especially like doing oats milk from flakes. So we start. It's very easy doing an outstanding uh, oats milk, but it's also very easy to make a big mess with them. So please pay attention to these two key tricks I'm gonna show you right now. First one, the water. This water, it's very, very hot, but it's not boiling. If I put boiling water or almost boiling water, the oat milk is gonna get too thick, like a yogurt, like a kefir, but not like plant milk. So I put one liter of very hot water. Please, if you put cold water, it will be the opposite. It will be watered down, okay? So very hot water. Filter. Now, second key trick. Uh, 50 grams, 50 grams of flakes. If you put 55, 60, 70, same as if you put boiling or almost boiling water, it will get too thick. This is because of the mucilago. It's a, a component that thickens and uh, the millets also ha have it. This doesn't have it happen with uh, spelt or with rice, for example. If you put more quantity, uh, no issue. If you put um, almost boiling water, no issue. But with oats, remember, not boiling water, not more than 50 grams of oats, measure it for one liter. Now, always with uh, cereals, pinch, pinch of salt, pinch of cinnamon, peel of a lemon, don't try this with orange, orange peel is marvelous for nuts, for oats it's much better if you use lime or lemon organic ones, remember. Fine. Now another trick you need to know. This works with any plant milks. Here I have some sesame. Uh, just by adding one spoon of sesame into my plant milk, no matter if it's cereal or nut or whatever, plant milk, uh, I am adding iron and calcium. So, hand blender flakes only one minute one minute remember that we don't need to push hard flakes are very very easy to do with four grain, we should be like two minutes. And look how simple we are blending, grinding, and filtering at the same time. This is simplicity, maximum simplicity, chufa mix. Simplicity should be always the way to choose in this life. Okay, finish. I can smell it perfectly. Mm. Filter up straight with a mortar, slowly, gently. This pulp we have here, the leftover pulp, it's perfect to make veggie burgers or to make tacos, talos, chapati, roti. They have different names in different countries. 
you have all these uh, recipes in plantmilk.org fine now remember lead let it rest a little bit and into the fridge from three to six seven days it depends on the cold you have regulated your fridge now it's very hot but I cannot mm, I want to taste it this is the part I more like tasting mm. delicious delicious why the two main tricks not boiling water not more than 50 grams for one liter right amount of peel of the lemon right amount of cinnamon little pinch of salt and then absolutely optional uh, if you want sweetener you put little bit of sweetener if you don't like sweetener you don't put the sweetener making this oats milk it's 25 cents of dollar or of euro in supermarkets we can have it if it's organic from two dollars euros up to four dollars euros it's absolutely crazy how 99 percent of people buy it in the supermarket but this is the life we're living stressed and a little bit uh, difficult to understand some things we're doing in this crazy planet better say in this planet by crazy humans but home more healthy and you will earn money and remember this is not the only recipe with oats you can also for example use instead of water you can use teas or plant infusions it's very very nice or you can for example mix oat with uh, little nuts or you can add ginger so we finished the um, we finished the workshops on cereals in the next chapter i will show you how to make soy milk see you soon hope